what are the statistics of flu occurrence in people that don't take the flu shot compared to taking the flu shot? You know, what's the benefit? So in other words, 50% less people get the flu if you take the flu vaccine or so something like that. What can you say to that effect? Mm -hmm. um, I actually have never gotten that question before. Can you hold on a moment? Let me find out for you. Yeah, sure. Take your time. Sir? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are aware uh, that there are studies out there that have been conducted that show, there are studies that show that there is a benefit to getting the flu vaccine. There's also studies that have been conducted that show that it's the same whether you get a vaccine or not, your risk is the same. So I don't have any exact statistical numbers or anything, but I can tell you that there are studies out there that do show that there is a benefit as well as studies that show that there is no difference. As I understand, there, there are some that, um, uh, that are mercury-containing and others that are non-mercury-containing. Mm -hmm. And I think yours is the, the mercury-containing type. Is there a benefit in the, the, the mercury-containing compared to not the mercury-containing? And, and um, is the one with mercury better? Um, actually, the purpose of the mercury content, it's uh, actually contained in the thimerosal is the name of the um, component that we use as a preservative. Right. And so that's simply its purpose is just as a preservative. It doesn't have any effect on the efficacy of the vaccine. Um, our product, our multi-dose vial, does contain thimerosal as a preservative, and um, there's other products out there that contain trace amounts of thimerosal. Um, so, or I'm sorry, they contain, they're considered to be preservative-free, but they still contain trace amounts of mercury. Do you, uh, do you get the flu vaccine? Um, do I personally? Yeah. No, I usually, I mean, why, why are you asking me that?